<sighs> Hi everybody, welcome to episode, uh, uh, eight, <laughs> episode eight of Blue vs. Gold, which I take issues eight of X-Men Blue and X-Men Gold, and I determine which book was better. Now, before you all start guessing, oh, Blue's just going to pick gold again. Okay, yes, gold for the first seven straight issues has been victorious. It has established a 7-0 and record. And we've made all kinds of jokes about this is a streak, we got to conquer it, call Brock Lesnar, and all that shit. But this particular time, this was down to the wire. I've already reviewed both of these issues on my main comic book reviews, but after going back and rereading these issues, I gotta say, this was one of the very tougher calls to make. Both issues were very strong in terms of presentation, in terms of character development, storytelling, plot development, and interior artwork. Both issues had solid covers, solid art. These issues were good. But the, the burning question is, which issue was better? Was it gold or was it blue? Yellow! It was, <laughs> there is no yellow yet. <laughs> but, purple? Who would be on the X-Men purple team? You? I'm thinking Mystique. Wait, she's blue. But she's not on she's not on blue. She's not on gold either. Purple. If anybody should lead a purple team, it should be Psylocke. <sighs> Bad joke, I know. Okay! Enough stalling! Let's get to the results, please! Okay, <laughs> okay, now let's talk about this. X-Men Gold, you had them taking on this mutant killer and everything. And we have great character moments involving, you know, Kitty Pride. Twice in here, Colossus tried to take the bullet, quite literally, for his team, especially for Kitty. A uh, nice little tease out at the beginning of the issue with prestige and everything. Uh, there's some really good dynamics there, especially the scene with Wolverine and, St or, excuse me, Old Man Logan and Storm. That was some good stuff in here, too. It was nice to see Kitty Pryde go all ninja on this motherfucker. Very, very well put together. Very well done. However, with X-Men Blue, we had also some strong moments in here. And, uh, folks, because, but before I talk about Blue, let me say this. Blue wins! X-Men Blue finally gets a win! Yes! 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 Okay! What? <laughs> Why let the dog look at me like that? <laughs> She'll get over it. But, now! This is history, folks! Blue's first win in eight issues! Let's talk about why I picked Blue for this episode okay in x-men blue in terms of storytelling and in terms of character development and character revelations this was the better book don't don't even get me started the cover was good even though fuck emma frost even though that's how i feel about this bitch at least at least i will give marvel credit at least she is starting to be redeveloped as a villain the way she should be. She should be a villain because she's a bitch. And the fact that it was basically Jimmy Hudson, Wolverine's son from the Ultimate Universe, for those of you who still don't know, and Jean on the run, and it turns into this whole mutant versus mutant uh, melee, but there was a very awesome mental tease on a two-page spread in here that looked very nostalgic and 
gave the the 90s kid in me a really thrilling rush. Not to mention, you're bringing in two characters in this. One I already spoiled, and that was Polaris. Polaris is stepping in. Okay, got my attention. The other character, I don't, I still really don't want to spoil it, but I kind of feel like I have to because it's one of the things that helped me pick this book. It is Danger. And the way they brought Danger in, I honestly did not see that coming. I was thinking that somebody was telepathically or electronically con controlling the Blackbird and communicating through a speaker or something. I had, I did not see that coming, that the Blackbird was actually Danger disguised as the Blackbird. And the way she distracted all of the, uh, all of the uh, mutants that are combating this particular team of X-Men, the way she, she was the one that sent out the, the, uh, the distraction of these 90s X-Men holograms and everything. It was good. It was fun. It was exhilarating. It was great. Both issues were strong. Both issues were very well done. But the streak has been broken. Blue has finally got a victory. So, what did you think about these two issues? Was Blue the... Excuse me. That's Blue. Was Blue the better book? Was Gold the better book? Should there be a yellow book? Should there be a purple book? Should there be a green book? Should there be a, a brown... No, I don't want to see a brown book. I, I have a feeling there's got to be a lot of anal jokes in there. Uh, but if there is a brown book, make Deadpool the leader. Uh, <laughs> okay, all kidding aside, both were great issues, and Blue gets its first victory. Will it be its only victory? Who knows? But there you have it. Blue versus Gold, Episode 8. Blue wins! Finally, Blue wins. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done it already. Hope you enjoyed this video. I gotta go. See y'all later. I am Groot.